So suppose we have a circle of radius 10. Let's write the triples again for angles of 45 degrees or pi over 4 increments, but let's first figure out our isosceles right triangle when the radius is 10 instead of 1. So if the radius is 10, we still have two equal sides. We'll call them both A. These are the shorter sides of the isosceles right triangle. And our Pythagorean theorem says that A squared plus A squared equals 10 squared. So 2A squared equals 100. Dividing both sides by 2, we have 2A squared over 2, which is A squared, and 100 over 2, which is 50. And so taking a square root on both sides, we would have A is the square root of 50. And let's work out what that is as a decimal, because we'll need that to graph. And it will probably come as no big surprise to you that the square root of 50 is 7.07, .07, which is exactly 10 times bigger than the side length when we had a hypotenuse of length 1. So now let's write out our triples. Our first triple has an angle of 0, an x value of 10, and a y value of 0. The next triple is at pi over 4, or 45 degrees. The x value would be 7.07, .07, or square root of 50. I'm going to just write these as decimals this time to make it a little easier to get to the graph. And then the y value would also be 7.07, .07, or the square root of 50. The next triple would be at pi over 2, 0 for x, and 10 for y. The next triple is at 3 pi over 4, negative 7.07 .07 for x, and positive 7.07 .07 for y. The next one's at pi, and it's negative 10 for x and 0 for y. Then 5 pi over 4, negative 7.07 .07 for x and negative 7.07 .07 for y. 3 pi over 2. 0 for x, negative 10 for y, and 7 pi over 4, positive 7.07 .07 for x, negative 7.07 .07 for y. So there are my triples. We're starting by plotting theta with the y value. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with 0, 0, then pi over 4, 7.07. .07. then pi over 2 with 10, then 3 pi over 4 with 7.07, .07. then pi with 0, then 5 pi over 4 with negative 7.07, .07. then 3 pi over 2 with negative 10, then 7 pi over 4 with negative 7.07, .07. And then we're back to 2 pi with a y value of 0. So there's that nice smooth curve that we found from before. And the only difference between this curve and the one we found when we used a circle of radius 1 is that this curve fluctuates between positive 10 and negative 10 instead of positive 1 and negative 1. In fact, this is exactly 10 times vertically the curve of sine theta. So this is a graph of y equals 10 sine theta. We can follow the same process now to graph theta with the x value of each triple, starting with 0, 10, then pi over 4, 7.07, .07, then pi over 2, 0, then 3 pi over 2, negative 7.07, .07, then pi negative 10, then 5 pi over 4, negative 7.07, .07, 3 pi over 2, comma 0, 7 pi over 4, 7.07, .07, and 2 pi would bring us back to, and 2 pi would bring us back to a value of 10. So again, that same curve, it looks just like that cosine curve, only it now fluctuates between 10 and negative 10. So this is the graph of y equals 10 cosine theta. So what we now know is that on a circle of radius 10, Every x, y point is actually represented by 10 cosine theta. 10 sine theta, generalizing, we can, make, we can make a generalization from this to the circle of radius r, where each point is now going to be represented by r cosine theta, comma r sine theta as the point x, comma y.